the old teams in this land are boring and weak. It is time for them to be gone. It is time for a new dawn. Something greater, something more exciting, something more bloody. It is uh, time to embrace chaos. This guy started to piss me off. Wow. I mean, he's got something of a point. I look at you grumpily. <laughs> Laser Shield was, used to be the greatest team in the, in the country. Used to be. And now it's not, right? Yeah, maybe because of wizards like you. While you guys are talking about yourself, he keeps going and he says, the people you hear, you can start following a new team. You can start following chaos. You can embrace our gifts. You can start cheering for our beastmen. And you can see non-stop slaughter. It will be glorious. I do wonder, though, being part of this beast following, you have to grow the claws yourself as well? I say this out loud while, while after downing my beer. Okay. Well, the, he looks up at you, noticing you sort of for the first time. And... Uh, I'm like five paces behind you right now. <laughs> you can do what you want. It doesn't matter. Do I not have to look at you? Because woof. <laughs> As a pun, the chaos gods have, have presented me with a gift. Out of character, my character has a confidence problem. <laughs> Two more men step next up next to him. And he says, now, watch as I show you how powerful chaos has made us. The men <coughs> moved I, uh, clearly with the intent <coughs> of starting the fight. I shake my head. Clearly, chaos has, doesn't know where to, when to keep the fight on the field. Uh-oh. You want to you prove your prowess? Good. Take it on the field. Show it on the field. Win your, your these people by show by by winning the uh, the uh, the competitions, not by starting fights in a bar. Your children man, over here. The man says, well, "I'm slowly think, backing I, away. We I are not here. We're not here for a fight. Don't hurt us." I cost my I came here for beer. And this guy's uh, this guy's keeping the uh, the guy who runs the uh, place occupied. Well. It, it doesn't look like he's really wants to listen uh, to, to your remarks about not wanting to fight. Clearly, he was looking for a fight. And, uh, well, you've given, given him an excuse, which is more than he needed, actually. Uh, no, no, no. So, now we're here. It's an inn. Can you see? Almost. Not yet. Uh, I may be zoomed in a bit much. Nope. No. There, there we go. go. All right. It's an inn. Yes, it's an inn. Awesome. And there's... Uh, oh, let's move these guys to where they're supposed to be. I'm not going to add all the bystanders that are there as well, because uh, this, this place is crowded, but they are all getting out of the way uh, for as much as they can. Um, you guys, this here, uh, you can see, of course, when I'm, I'm seeing if I can actually... Okay, well, at the top right, there's a door. Yep. Yep. Yeah. See it? And that's the door leading into the inn. So I think it would make a lot of sense for uh, Secret to be quite close to the door. <laughs> yes. And Alexei to be, well, somewhere between uh, Secret and. Uh, and the door. <laughs> and uh, these guys, because <coughs> you were sort of stepping off, I, I think, as to talk to them a little bit. Okay, I am here. Yes. So that will make a lot of sense. And um, I think it's a good idea to roll some initiative. Uh, let's see, let's add the turn order. There you go. Yes. Wow, okay, natural 20. Order. All right, so add turn. Um, you know what oh. you can do, actually? I didn't assign it to the turn tracker, apparently. Yeah, what you can do is you can click your character and then roll initiative, and then it should work. Um, oh, but I got a 23 initiative. 
I don't really care either way, to be honest. It's kind of a test run. <laughs> there you go. Uh, I cheesed it in. I'm having All right. Doing my All right. Here. That's okay. Uh, you should be able to drag it there. I think, actually, I should think I should be able to do it as well, right? So did I have yeah, time there. to... Uh, oh, did I have there time to right. cast Mage Armor, or do I have to do that during the fight? Well, I, well I, you didn't say anything about it, so I... I yeah, I said, I, I said, I don't want to fight you, I don't want to fight you, and I cast Mage Armor. <laughs> oh! That, I was basically like, trying to buy time to do that. Ah, uh, right, so... But if, I, if there's uh, no time, then that'll be no, my first No, they, they don't really listen to you. They just want okay. to uh, fight. Um, so, that's us this guy. Yeah, that's good. Can you guys see the list of everyone? Uh, yep. Yeah. yeah, okay, that's fine. All right, and then let's get everything. Can I just get them in order? Yeah, I can. There we go. Mm -hmm. So this is looking pretty good for you guys. So, uh, well, maybe you have, do have enough time to cast Mage Armor. <laughs> yeah. How, how tough do these guys look? So for, for everyone out there watching, by the way, we decided to make our characters at level three. Might be worthwhile to know that. <clears throat> Might so, explain my arrogance. So uh, uh, two questions about how these guys look. Does, does the one dude that we've been talking to look a lot tougher than the others? Well, at least he looks, yeah, he does look a lot tougher. At least, and also very much more confident than the other two. The other two are clearly uh, his henchmen. And there are, not, uh, there are not a lot of bystanders directly uh, near where they're standing, right? Everyone's sort of back away from them. Everyone else uh, that's in uh, here is at least one square away from them. So, okay. Uh, um, because I'm not entirely sure about the uh, radius of uh, sleep. And whether, if I target it on them, whether it would actually I, down bystanders instead yeah, of them. Yeah, it should, it should, it should, uh, it should uh, down bystanders. Um, well, yeah, I, I'm, I'm just thinking if there's a place, because I think there's a 20 feet, was oh. it a 20 feet radius for sleep? Uh, could be, yeah. That's a lot. Oh, by the way, I, um, I picked the, uh, the divination specialty which means I have uh, two d20 rolls to assign during any day. Oh, so right. I'm going to roll Did those now. Those? Okay. I think... I'm looking up sleep in the meantime, so... Yeah, within 20 feet... Four, uh, within 20 feet of a point. So, this is good. I get to assign a 4 and a 16. That's actually that's, really nice. That's so right? Yeah, fine. I get... To, I get to win something, and I get to make someone lose something. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay, so I cannot target a sleep on these three no, guys without sleep, targeting sleep bystanders. Gonna, sleep is going to be uh, hard, yeah. Well... Because there are a few people at the wall at the sovereign side as well, so you can't yeah. cast it there. Okay. And, uh, yeah. I'm thinking, yeah, maybe a scene. Mm. Nah, it's not going to work. Nah, it's not going to work. Place is too small. All right, might knock out everybody. In that case, I look at him. Yes. Do you think this is funny? Do you think this is funny? Your mother was a squig! And I cast Tasha's hideous laughter on him. And right. he rolls a four for his saving throw. <laughs> isn't, isn't. <laughs> I think you feel yeah. that one. He looks at you with a wide grin and says, I think it's hilarious. <laughs> he, and he starts laughing. And as he starts laughing, a uh, continuous laughing, you can see that his, it, uh, there's a small moment in which he seems surprised at himself. As though he wanted to laugh, but as he continues laughing, he's like, It's not that funny. What am I doing? But he just can't stop himself. Excellent. If I remember right, if uh, you feel the save, he's now he's prone. He's already prone. Yeah, he's, he is, right? he's um, helpless. Yeah. And uh, at the end of his next turn, he can save again. Exactly. All right. 
I think that's your turn, unless you yep. want to walk. Um, I... You also have minor actions as well. Or is, uh, or is giving someone a number... But that's another minor action. I, uh, I step uh, out the door and try and take cover behind the door in case they do range stuff. Oh, I'm okay. a wizard. I don't do frontline stuff that much. Okay. <laughs> yes, that's um, your job, Alexei. I'm slightly confused to the fact that this guy's laughing hysterically right now. <laughs> it is kind of weird. Well, I was really, really funny. Aha. Well, yeah. I've had a few beers, and even I thought you weren't that funny. So, well, yeah. Um, okay. Combination, yeah, I have to roll there, I suppose. True, but, okay, for my current assessment, do he's, I he's, beat up... He's down, on, he's down yeah, for do now. Do I beat up on him, or do I beat up on the thugs? Well, I mean, the, he was being really uh, rude to you, and now he's laughing. I, I mean, you could beat okay. him up, I suppose, but... Uh, We're going to need some instructions about this next. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but, I mean, the other two guys still look like uh, they want to they still like He's right, not a threat, and they are. Yeah. All right, so then I'll go for them. That seems like a good plan. Yeah. Well, the advantage of punching him would be that he doesn't look like he's really able to defend himself right now. So if you do punch him, you're pretty sure you'll be able to give him a good hit all right. even, you, know, you could just you could just take your fingers and poke through out. poke through his eye or something. No. <laughs> All right. But, but I'll say something quickly about this uh, in uh, in game terms uh, to explain what, what what tactically is is sound strategy for you. Uh, your main strength is that you can attack a lot of times. Yeah, um, I was thinking on flurry of blows. Yeah, exactly, um, and. Um, From the position what, where they are right now, I could probably use some of the blows on one of the thugs and still g uh, give kill for a kick in the face. Well, you might actually be able to. Uh, well, well, what I was going to explain is uh, when someone is disabled like this, uh, uh, usually it's uh, they get a saving throw whenever they're hit, uh, and because you are focused on uh, lots of punches, uh, which do you know, relatively not that much damage, but mm. all together they do a lot of damage. You're uh, almost guaranteed to wake him up with because yeah. you, you give him a lot of saves in one turn. Yeah. If you were someone with a, with a great axe, uh, it would be far more interesting to walk up to the guy yeah. and just right. chop him in half. Because, yeah, because he's helpless, yeah. which means your uh, first punch will be an automatic critical hit as well. Yeah. But if All he right. if he makes a safe, then he's no longer helpless. So the the next gotcha. bunches won't have that. Yeah, I got you. Okay, enough about the part of strategy. Uh, maybe should we talk about how attacks of opportunity work in the system? Because I expect a lot of people aren't used to fifth edition that will be watching this, and I'm not sure if nothing remembers. Not really. Sorry. That's Can fine. I tell That's you. Fine. Sure. Um, go. You can, you can explain. Is it okay if I get Based some water? Quick yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead, I'll explain. So basically what happens with Attacks of Opportunity, it's no longer about leaving a threatened square, okay. but rather about leaving someone's threatened area. Which means if okay. you, if you, let me just, uh, can I pick you up? No, but I can pick me up. If you go here, yeah. uh, and you walk there, you're still in yeah. both of their threatened areas. So because you've yeah. left, left neither of their threatened areas, it doesn't provoke from them. If oh, you then okay. walk here, you exit both of their threatened areas, so you would and provoke both an opportunity from both of them. But that yeah. that means if you want to go, you could go here, and then mm -hmm. there, and then yeah. there, and then yeah. here without provoking, simply yeah. because oh, simply because you never left his threatened area. That also means you. that um, flanking would be silly easy to accomplish. Yeah, which is why they've removed the uh, advantage from flanking altogether in this system. Okay. So it's it's basically yeah. a streamlining, simplifying of uh, positioning stuff relative to say third edition. Okay. You so it that. might be might be worthwhile pointing out just how the dice log works. Basically, whenever you roll something like uh, down here, uh, it shows you two rolls. <clears throat> the reason for this is that uh, in Dungeons and Dragons fifth edition, there's something called advantage, where you get to roll two dice and pick the best one. Or disadvantage, where you roll two dice and you have to pick the worst one. And so the system always rolls two dice for you. If you do not have advantage or disadvantage, you just use the first one. 
But if you have advantage or disadvantage, then you don't have to roll twice, but instead you get to use the set of two rolls. Cool. Yep. And these, these numbers already include the plus three from the uh, attack roll, which means you actually roll the five and a 13 here. Yeah, yeah exactly. All, All right. right. So we left off that it was my turn after Jasper made, or after the sage made our horrible enemy laugh. <laughs> Uncontrollably. Yeah, by, <laughs> with a really bad pun, by the way. You need to work on that. <laughs> I've got charisma right. eight. If I were really funny, it would be totally, totally, yeah. Uh, uh, totally out of character. You're right. <laughs> exactly. Thank you. What's a squib, by the way? All right. A squig. Oh, oh. A squig is a pompon-shaped, ferocious animal in the Warhammer universe. Yeah, I did not need to know that. Okay, with, cool. <laughs> with six eyes and uh, huge, gnarly, pointy teeth. Wow. Okay, Squig. Excellent. Yeah. Uh, Goblin's yes. best friend. <laughs> Goblin's best friend. Excellent. All Until right, guys. They eat them. So for my action is I'm going to... I have... Because I'm a level three monk, I get to walk really fast if I'm not armored. So... I walk all the way over here. They're a bit surprised that you're suddenly between. Yeah, the, the yeah something that the other uh, that the people who are watching this might want to know. My character walks with a limp, mm -hmm. and at this moment, it might be really weird for all the characters, uh, the the NPCs, to see my character move this fast in a combat situation. Well, I mean, it's it's a it's a chaotic situation. Uh, most of the people that are in the inn are at the near the walls and are kind of just trying to stay out of trouble. And kind of, yeah, and I'm kind of hoping that they're kind of distracted by the. They're heat. they're they're distracted. Okay. Uh, so black so when when you run there, is the limp still there? I'll have to roll charisma for that one, I think, <laughs> because yeah. my character does know how to act. But All right, so this is my uh, this is my perception roll. It's uh, not that great. Um, I don't think I'm trained, but I haven't quite figured out all of my skills yet. So let's just treat this as a cold eleven. <laughs> so you're uh, you're probably able to hide this. I think let's for now say I'm hiding this. <laughs> okay, fine. Yeah, yeah. Everyone's distracted and uh, doesn't notice. Yep. The guard who is uh, he's outside uh, the inn and he's like, oh, I think oh. the guard's hiding behind secretly. That's what I think. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm cowering behind the door here, so I, I think you might be okay. And, and the guard is, is, is the guard is cowering behind Siegfried. Oh, this, 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 this really escalated. <laughs> yes, 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 it did. All right. Anyway, um, all right. I'm trying to find out. Uh, okay, I'm not allowed to see that, but I'm. I'm gonna try and beat the beat up on the thug that is above me, looking at mm -hmm. the, uh, the screen. Yeah, sure. yeah. So, that, so I'm gonna try and hit that guy. All right. So first, your normal attack. Yes. Here we go. Oh. All right. Wow. That's pretty good, actually. I'd well, say that's it. <laughs> this is this had no advantage, so no. and no disadvantage. So that means we use the leftmost number, which is twenty-two. Which is completely in my favor. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, that, that's a hit, obviously. Uh, yeah. Take that, Doug. Nothing. Do you want to describe how you yeah. uh, hit this All right. Guy? So basically, my character for this guy suddenly really swiftly appeared right next to him. And basically, I just plant my elbow in his face. All right. Yeah. Let's uh, see if we hear uh, the breaking of a nose. Let's hope so. Oh, that's too bad. Let's see. It's like it's like cracking of a nose. It's like I think I rolled twice accidentally. Yeah, you rolled twice. Yeah. So let's use the first one. That makes sense, right? So that's that's five five damage. Uh, let's. Um, yeah, that works. That's great. Okay, so you uh, yeah you do hear cracking of uh, of a nose uh, from uh, the elbow, and uh, when you pull your arm back, you can see blood flowing down uh, the bottom of his face. All right, because, so I'm, I'm going to assume that because I just broke his nose, he's going to be slightly stunned. Uh, oh. and I'm going to use that moment to activate my Flurry of Blows. So I'm just spending one key point. 
Yeah. And I activate Flurry of Blows, and I'm going to use the open palm to like beat him right in the middle of his chest and make right. him fly over the table that's behind him. Nice. Sounds good. So do I, I need to roll an attack for that as well, right? Yes. For the first of the two attacks, you uh, roll again. Yes. So here comes my Flurry of Blows. Ooh, that's too bad. Right. Oh, that's it. Um, let's see. That's, yeah, that's not that, that's not going to be enough. No. Sadly. All right. So I'm. So, what are we saying? He dodged. I missed. Um, you. Let's. I, I think. I think. Let's go with that. He kind of. Maybe you, you step you him first. I and think he kind of to step back and maybe exactly. that makes the impact uh, less. That's, that yeah. sounds he fine. He stumbles back a bit. All right. So we, then I follow through and hit him with the with the, uh, with the other with the other hand as well. Makes sense. That's yeah, that's that's better. better. That's better. Good. So the aim is still to make him fly across the table, so he's gonna make have to make a saving throw on his strength. All right. Uh, let's see if we can pull it up. Is that close? I think that close. Something is issuing that. Oh, no, what? Um, there we go. It was a strength saving throw, right? Yeah. Yep. Uh, and it's this one, I think. Ooh. <laughs> I'm so, going to guess that's a failure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 that's a failure. So this guy, he flies off. So that's 15 feet, so that'd be th three squares. <laughs> uh, all right, so he flies off. Uh, uh, that's the, uh, four. That's oh, okay. Okay, three squares. <laughs> so he uh, flies off and he lands with his back on the table. And he's uh, clearly down for the count. Excellent. He doesn't, he doesn't look like he'll be getting up. Oh, funny thing, though. I didn't roll, uh, actually give him any damage. Should we do that? Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, uh, let's see that damage. Um, yeah. But I'm pretty sure it's going to be enough. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I gave him another four yeah. damage to go yeah. with that. Yeah, it's it's, it's enough. He's uh, he's down and out. All right. Nice. All right. So after so just to end my turn, after I've done that, my character basically smirks and turns around to and face the other guy. <laughs> All right. It says. Bring it, chaos, bro. <laughs> he he looks at uh, the guy who's been talking all the time, who is laughing on the floor, and then the other guy, and he's kind of like, "Damn, this is that was fast." Bad. <laughs> um, does your character have training in intimidate? Actually, that's a good question. I have no idea. Actually, he has a lot of charisma, so okay. you can roll a free intimidate check. I have a plus one on Intimidate, so that, what am I rolling for that? Just give me a sec. Well, you can roll a d20 plus one, I mm. guess, unless you have training in Intimidate, which would make it a plus three, I think. I have. Uh, it says a plus one on my sheet, so I'm not sure. Oh, That's probably, probably just your charisma. Probably just uh, your charisma. Yeah. I can look it up quickly. No, I don't think you have Intimidate. No, I don't uh, think so either. No, All right, no. I'm gonna need a little bit more, a little bit of help, guys, because I don't I, have a quick. I went ahead and rolled it for you. Thank you, okay. sir. That's fine. Yes. All right. So, all right. Let's Thank see you. what his stat is for that. I think it's uh, gonna be enough. Yeah, it is. All right. So he seems really, really worried, uh, and I mean, he's gonna try to attack you. But, can I say uh, something, or do you, I just wait? Yes, you can say something. Yes. I said, dude, you got options. You can walk out of here, keep your nose in in one shape, and you and no blood in your face, or you can land like uh, land on the table like the other guy. All right. Um, he looks at you, and uh, his eyes, the, the pupils of his eyes are darting all over the place. It's like I, mean, I, I take a small step back, giving him the room to move away. Um, and uh, you know, you think that he's considering what you're saying, mm -hmm. but uh, then at a certain point, something clicks in his mind, and he just goes for it All right. and attacks. Uh, I have to check whether which of the guys actually is which. Yeah, okay. The guy, yeah, he's first. So 
he uh, tries to stab you. Oh dear. Let's see. As close as can see it again. Don't He's get hit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you for that invaluable advice. So yeah. All right. All right. Well, he tries to stab you with his knife. Does he need to beat my my uh, defense? Or? Uh, he needs to hit it. So if I don't know what your AC is. My AC is 15. Right. So he would have to, had to roll a 15 to hit. Okay. Um, so he tries to stab. Uh, would you like to describe how you uh, avoid the knife? Honestly, my character uh, casually sidesteps it. And, just, right. and smiles at him doing it. Okay. <laughs> and, and says, options are closing, dude. <laughs> well, he as he misses you, he looks at you, and uh, you can see the sweat rolling down his cheeks, and you can see his eyes, which you can. There's kind of like strange red lines going through it. Uh, it's, it just seems so. You've seen, you've seen, you've seen people on the blog or pitch with these looks, uh, pure desperation, basically. This guy doesn't want to be here, does he? Well, you don't know, but he seems not right, not entirely right anyway. All right, peer pressure's a bitch. <laughs> and chaos other, will do this to people. Mm. The other guy uh, is, was laughing on the ground. Yeah. But let's see if he continues doing that, or maybe he decides that laughing on the ground is... You know. Does he, doesn't he just skip his turn? Because uh, I, I, need, I, I, yes, I need yes. to check. I need to check whether he gets the save at the start or at the end of his turn. Though I'm not entirely Pretty sure. Maybe sure you know, Alex. Sure at the end? end. Okay, let's just go with that for now, and I'll yeah, I'll try and yeah. know my spells okay. better by next session. Yeah, yeah. We'll Same here. Check it. <laughs> All right. Because so, flow anyway, and stuff. <laughs> he's going to uh, roll a save, which I believe was a charisma save, or was it intelligence, wisdom, wisdom, maybe. Uh, sounds sounds like a wisdom save to me. Yeah, I should probably right. have my spell book somewhere. All right. So anyway, he rolls his wisdom save, which is this. And let's see what he rolls. Holy crap. He rolls a 12. I believe, my, a I believe my save DC is um, 9. 8 plus proficiency plus your int, I think, right? Right. Uh, yeah. So uh, my proficiency, is that still two at level three? I think so. Okay. Because then he doesn't um, beat you. it's 13. My yeah, that makes, that makes sense. That's kind of yeah. what I expect. So he doesn't beat you, in which case he growls something angrily. <laughs> it almost <laughs> looks like he's about to get up. And then he's, uh, you realize like, that the joke really was and, that. And then he points at you at the direction of the door. And he, <laughs> and he continues laughing. That was the worst, best pun ever. All right. So this guy, I mean. I and your father he... smelt of elderberries. Oh, so, good God. <laughs> I've removed that, the other guy from the initiative order because I don't think he's going to be waking up. Um, so a bit of time has passed. And uh, Alexei is once again has its turn. I mean, a secret, sorry. Secret. Sweet. What are you doing, dude? Um, let me see. T four six. If I'm in this square, does yeah. uh, does the bad guy still have cover? Um, yes, because he's prone. No, the other guy. Oh, that guy. The guy in front of uh, me. Because where where I was standing, he had cover uh, from Alexei. Which uh, which I don't like, so that's why I'm asking if should I go yeah. here? Yeah, well, Can I? maybe from the table, right? Mm, I don't know. Uh, not... I think I think that would light cover. From... In order in order for something to give cover, it has to cover like half your body. Two, three, four, five. That's a pretty six. high table, dude. Yeah, the table is about half, I think. How about here? I think it's yeah. Well, then Alexa the, uh, is the problem, right? Or I, I'm not exactly sure on how how in between someone has to be for. Uh, I, I think, and well, we'll have to double check to make sure, I suppose. But I think it's if you can hit uh, all four of the corners, then there's no cover. 
And if you can okay. hit three, then it's usually uh, light cover. But light cover is only a minus two, I think. Yeah. You know what? I'm just going to stay right here. I like it here. Oh, it feels very oh, safe. Oh, wow. Right. So at I'm, least, I'm, at, least, <clears throat> at least loot the guy that's on the table. We can do that later. <laughs> um, so I'm going to stay right here. And uh, uh, I, uh, I uh, point my finger at the dude in front of you. And I go, fuego. And um, I shoot a firebolt, but I miss, I believe, because with the yeah. cover, that would be an effectively a nine. Yeah, that's so, gonna be nice. So I go zap, and uh, <laughs> a a, a, uh, a small bolt of fire shoots through the room. Doesn't actually come anywhere close. Um, there's a curtain yeah. that's uh, smoldering now, and uh, I go whoops. Yeah, on a, on a normal Blood Bowl game, this would be like rolling a one. So, <laughs> right? <laughs> no, pretty, because, much. Uh, pretty much. A lightning bolt only hits uh, on anything but a one. But well, this was a, a, bl a blast of fire, but still, yeah. yes. Yeah, it's a yes. good one. Wizards, yeah. wizards are not infallible, although we don't like to talk about that too much. <laughs> well, there's okay. a bit of fire now, and uh, a few of the people watching are, are you know, they're, they're scared. But you know, where, where are they gonna run? Uh, so they just uh, scream a bit like, "Ah, fire!" <laughs> <laughs> well, at least I got the big guy. That's something. I, that's uh, that's huge. He's still laughing. Yeah, the, I think the big guy's still wondering who ha who got him. He's oh, um, by the way, it might be good to know, Alert. I also went with the lucky feet. <laughs> Which means I get oh. to re-roll three times per day as well. Oh, okay. Yeah. So um, if if I had wanted to use it here, I would have to have to do so after seeing I rolled an eleven or uh, actually a uh, six, but before you tell me whether it's a hit or a miss. All right. All right. All right. I I didn't do so. So next one. All right. So Alexei. Uh, Alexei. All right. So uh, the guy in front of me, I said. I have a feeling you, you don't really want to be here, so, so you know what's going to happen? I'm about to knock you out. Fair enough. Well, he doesn't say that, but... Well. <laughs> <laughs> that would be awesome, by the way. Uh, he's like, yeah, I'm not here. This isn't happening. Basically, what happens is what I'm trying to accomplish here. My character just grabs for his hair and brings his face to my knee. All right. Very gentle way of knocking him out. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to go, trying to go for a surefire way, dude. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's fine, that's fine. All right, roll your attack. Uh, there we go. Let's see if that works. Oh no! What happened? It's uh, no, mm. if the eleven missed and mine missed as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's that, that's a miss. That's a miss. All right, so can you I? <laughs> you try and grab his hair, but he pulls his head back, so your knee doesn't. It's a wig. <laughs> it's <laughs> yes, it was a wig. <laughs> oh, Foiled. By Foiled by meal pattern bat boldness. Oh, no. Well, maybe maybe the the, the chaos uh, uh, affecting his blood is, means that his hair just falls out as you pull it. You see that he has strange black spots on his head. Oh, dude. I look at him with like a look of pity. Yeah. Um, oh. I, I, I mean, my character assumes that the fact that I missed was not because of myself. <laughs> but because this guy is really sad. Chaos a confidence trigger. problem. Chaos yeah. Um... Do you uh, do anything else? Do you use your flurry of blows? Or... Am I allowed to do that if I miss? That's what I was wondering. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you are, right? Let's see. I know it says after the attack, but I don't know if the first attack needs uh, to After the attack, then, then you can use it, yeah. All right, cool. You then attack? I will spend my second key point. All right. And I will activate your blows. And I'll just, I don't know, if as I mi uh, So I p went for his head and he pulled back. As he pulls back, I try and kick and shatter his knee. Right? <laughs> You've got your knee up anyway, just extend it. Yeah, so they will just yeah. bring it down on his yeah. own. Yeah. On his knee, so. Okay, good. That That's like a hit. That's a hit. Crack. Right. Yeah, crack indeed. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to do for a damage roll. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. That's maximum. Yeah. And then yeah. I'm going to make him do a deck save. <laughs> All right. Um, it's okay. I'm just gonna knock you out. Shatters his kneecap. We'll never <laughs> yeah, walk again. Dodge my my, my <laughs> gentle, gentle soul. Gentle I'm soul. about to make him knock knock him out through sheer pain. All right, dexterity save, right? 
Okay. Ooh, dude, that's pretty good. Oh, pretty good. Well, so that means I gotta hit him with the other one as well. Well, no, <laughs> not really. <laughs> what happens is you uh, shatter his knee, and well, you kind of hope to go knock him off balance as well, but yeah. it doesn't work. So he's kind of still standing, but you can see his eyes rolling back, and he just falls backwards. So knockout. Uh, through Not sheer out. pain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what happens. And you still have one of your blows left. Yeah, I earth. realized. I bring the, uh, so, so I pull up my leg like almost Bruce Lee style to my face and land it on the on the guy on the floor. <laughs> you can uh, roll. I got an attack, attack for this guy, right? Yeah, got advantage. I've I've got an an American History X vibe for this move. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a hit. That's it. Yeah, cool. So because he is, he can't defend himself. This is automatically a critical hit. And if I remember right, a critical hit is uh, Dub double rolling. Roll yeah, double rolling. And the modifier was not doubled. Yes, it was the, as well. Double this. You get double okay. the mod, so, and you roll twice. So I double the add and roll twice. So, so, yeah, yeah, just your normal 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 damage roll times two. You roll two rolls. Roll twice, yeah. And yeah. then you could just add them together. That would work as well. So now I do it again, right? Yeah. So that's 10 damage. I think I hear a crunch. Yeah, that's painful. That's painful. So my that's character it. used to be a Blood Bowl player, which means I have a nasty streak. So what mm -hmm. happens is I land my heel on his chest, hear the crunch, and I ring it. Ah, yeah. Dirty player. And then and you go I like this it, to the crowd. Yeah. No, but first, before I go like this for the crowd, I say, it was not that funny. All right. So, because you've hit this guy, uh, and he's already prone, yeah. you could decide to, you know, kick him over the table as well. Oh. Uh, that You mean that'd be under, kick him under the table because... Oh, yeah, I suppose. But I shall. I shall kick him under the table. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. He so gets to he make a save, also, by the way. Yeah, yeah a straight save. save. Yeah. So he tries that. Uh, that's this one. That's uh, well, uh, he makes it. Okay. okay so, so that's oh. the save against being kicked under the table. But he took damage, yeah. so he gets the save against the laughter as well. That's true. That's true. Let's it's save DC thirteen. Oh, oh, dude! He's still laughing. He's still laughing. He's uh, laughing at everything. I am so funny. <laughs> My character's nice. amazed. So he was still laughing when he was on yes. the table. Well, I don't know what he was saying, but. Um, Look, I'm sorry. This is the only way I can make people laugh at my jokes with magic. Yeah, but seriously, yeah. this guy's. I, I think I, I must have shattered a few ribs, and he's still laughing and coughing blood at the same time. Yes, yes, certainly coughing up blood as he's laughing. That is a Sorry. dangerous comedy routine. Uh, he uh, is laughing on the ground and growling at the same time for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he's like, <laughs> Jasper, are you recording this? Because that's the face. That's the face <laughs> he's making. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, we got this. And uh, well, let's see if he keeps on laughing. Yeah. Yep. It's yeah. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Okay. <laughs> what happens now is my character just sits down on the on the bench of, uh, across from him and just looks at him. Just, All right. Just tie him up or something. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Maybe. Well, maybe. you know, Siegfried can do something first if he wants. But, oh yeah, go for Siegfried. Mm, yep. Yeah. I'm going, uh, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. I'm going over here. Yeah. I'm grabbing a beer and I say, tie him up. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. That, do you tie him up? Yeah. I, uh, I don't, I don't think I have rope on me, but I've, I, th th that guard must have something. Dude, yeah. you're a monk. Use your belt. <laughs> that, that keeps my pants up, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm so, sure there's uh, viewers out there. No, never mind. No, let's yeah, not so go there. The, it is the, a the guard place. En enters with his cuffs, and uh, well, he puts cuffs on uh, on the strange man. All right, and he 
He says, that was amazing. I said, I say, hold that thought. And then I check for valuables on, uh, on the chaos dudes. Ah, yes. Well, they do have a bit of gold around them, among them, among them. about 25 gold. All right, so I give about 10 of those to Siegfried. And five to the innkeep for the damage. Yeah, because I kind of broke some stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. The innkeeper says, thanks. All right, then I point at one of the chickens running across the room. I said, I'd like to eat that. <laughs> <laughs> he says, all right. Uh, well, I guess I'll we'll start working on that. All right, cool. And I uh, <laughs> look at one of the waitresses uh, who has no teeth, and I said, I would like two tankards of beer, though. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, all right. I go put out the curtains. <laughs> A few children, uh, crying children, are uh, very thankful. Afterwards, they stop crying, so I think they're happy. I think that curtain must have belonged to their mother, who is now deceased. So, uh, what happens next? We're not going to play out in detail. Uh, propose uh, basically, you spend some time here, I guess, because uh, yeah, apparently you're having chicken and uh, some cheap. cheap beers as well. Uh, the guard is uh, very much impressed and constantly wants to talk to Alexei. But, uh, Alexei constantly dodges his, his questions yes. by pointing at Siegfried and saying, tell more of your jokes. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, and uh, you spent the day there. And uh, that's basically it. And the next day is when things really start rolling. But I think this is a good point to kind of Stop the introduction session. Yeah. And then next time we can really get things going. Now remember, viewers, this was a really good introduction. We were pretty badass. It will not <laughs> always go like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um, both both of you guys, uh, thanks very much for, for trying this out. I think it went really well. And yeah, well, I, I think uh, two weeks from now, we'll actually start doing this live with actual live viewers on Twitch. If you're cool. watching this on Twitch right now, that means you're watching the vodcast of the recording we did two weeks ago, which means that we will probably be starting our live session right after this video ends. If you're watching this on YouTube, then hopefully the next video in the playlist will be available shortly so that you guys can watch the rest of the campaign. Okay. Honestly, this sounds like time travel. It so, is. It is kind of like yeah, time travel. It, it is. Yeah. It is. Yeah. D All so right. don't paradox stuff. Um, oh. <laughs> enough me, Alart. Thank you both yeah. very much. I really enjoyed this. I think it worked a lot more smoothly than I anticipated for our uh, our first test session. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, I like uh, the fact that even yeah. though it was online, all three of us got back to our into our, our role playing groove instantly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. All those years does help. Yeah, yeah it absolutely. Does. <laughs> okay. Pretty cool. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm excited. Yeah. So. A little bit about next time. Very, yep. very yes. short uh, introduction. Mm -hmm. Next time, the characters will be going to the castle and they'll be meeting the Lord proper. And uh, I think we'll also discuss how vo how voting on role-playing things will work. Which oh, is voting? Very viewer interaction? Stuff. Yes, viewer Ooh. interaction. Nice. That's something I'm looking forward to. All right, that's it for me, we anyway. We have a Patreon campaign for that, so if they pay more, they get more votes. Uh, well, it's just maybe. the one. Uh, I mean, the stage ones. <laughs> <once, why not? laughs> it's okay. You can call me Jasper. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. So, so, excited for next time. Yeah. See yeah. you all. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. You guys. Bye-bye. All right, YouTube. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, remember to leave it a thumbs up at the bottom. And of course, if you'd like to see more videos, do check out the channel and hit subscribe on your top right.